so I just got this. It is a 10 inch selfie ring light with expendable tripod stand. Ooh. All right, let's open it up. Ta-da, look at all the goodies that I re-put in the box because I didn't think to make a video until now. So the box comes with instructions, but I'm not gonna read them because I don't want them. Uh, the tripod itself, as you can see, that down, I'll set it up later. A bunch of extension pieces for your iPhone. I'll show you that later. Pretty much, if you could see this diagram, here's the light. Your iPhone goes in between. I'll set that up later, I guess. Maybe, if I want to. The light itself. I already put my extension piece in it. It didn't come with one, but... So, get yourself an extension piece if you want to use an outlet. Um, it's not glass, it's like a plastic. Yeah. So we got the tripod right here. It's adjustable height. The little screw-in knob right here that you can, you know, lock it in place, I guess. I'm just going to put on the lower one, see how tall this thing can get. And it's got the little push knobs. You can see it. It's kind of why I bought it, because it gets so dark in here when I'm trying to film anything. So say I want it higher. Right, you just lock everything in. So it doesn't fall down on you. Now I'll get a shot of it in its full height. So now we gotta put it on the ring on the top of the head. It's got another adjustable thing. It doesn't go, it just goes left and right. Um, all the little screw-on pieces kind of feel a little like cheap. Like if they chip, then you're screwed. So just note to be careful. Um, Cable. Alright, we're gonna screw this in. Tip it in, it's got a little there it is. Normally it's lefty loosey, righty tighty, but this one's lefty tighty, so that's a little weird. But there we go. It's nice and in. Now we're gonna plug it in. Hopefully you can kind of see how to adjust the camera. It's got the little light switch controller. It's got up, down, on, off, and mode. Can't really see it from here, but whatever. I get the point. So we're gonna go turn it on mode. Or on, sorry. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's bright. Um, then we're gonna go up and down. This is all the way up. This is all the way down. You can also just hold it instead of clicking it. Up, down. Ooh. Hi. Uh, next mode. I'm a sunflower. Or the sun. Oh my god, I'm the sun. <gasps> I'm burning. So it's got three modes. Perfect. Look at that. And then off. Let there be light. <laughs> so stupid. So I plugged it in, got the light screwed on. It's got this little control panel that has a USB outlet. You know, you can plug it in. Whatever. It's got up, down, on, off, and mode. Um, we're going to turn it on. Um, so that's one of the modes. Let's see how bright it can get. So you can just click it or you can hold it down. So I'm going to go all the way down the dimmest I'm going to change modes or model whatever so we got a dimmer white light a more warmer light and a bright light which means I can either be spooky boy <laughs> I could be the sun oh my god I'm the sun anyway <laughs> so stupid and off so here's for the max height. So I don't have a measuring tape, otherwise this would be easier. But I'm about 5'11 in height, so it's right about here. So that helps 5'11 here, max height here. <laughs> so there you go. But we got the accessories for your phone, right? We got the octopus looking tripod thing. Um, it's got a little top screw 
with a pivot, ball pivot, whatever you want to call it. Locking mechanism on it, you know, so you can mess around with it. Um, it's got this piece for your phone. It's got two holes, one for, I guess, if you want to do it horizontal and one for portrait mode, I guess. I don't know. Screws on. Where's the other one? This one. Nice little tripod for your phone. Adjustable, you know. Anyway, and then it's got this piece which goes into the light right here. You just screw it in. And that's for your phone, so I assume it's for like, you know, recording here and then having the light in your face or whatever. And it comes with a. A USB, not USB, a uh, Bluetooth little remote so you can start and stop the camera. So that's kind of cool. So the one thing I don't like about this is that these two pieces that hold your phone don't fit my phone. So it's kind of annoying. At least my phone's an iPhone 6, so I don't know if that has to do with that or the sizes of newer phones. That's why I kind of like this tripod that I have, because it's got the adjustable to fit your phone. So that's the only downside I could see of so far. So this is my desk space where I play guitar and practice and record videos and stuff. So normally I have to rely on the natural light of the sun, but sometimes I want to record at night and I just don't have the brightness. So this is what it looks like without this light. So I'd be recording in this. It's pretty hard to see me playing or whatever, so that's kind of why I got the light. Just so if I record at night and, you know, I just want a better picture looking videos and stuff. So that's the regular light. We're going to change the mode. Is this brightness all the way on? Yes, it is. Here's it all the way down one more time. Let's change the mode again. So, yeah. I think the light actually really does help. So, obviously it's a light. It's going to light up the area you're working on. But I kind of like it now. I feel like I can record videos late at night. Because if I was to record a video right now, this is what it would look like. Not that great, right? So, but light helps. Ta-da! Let there be light. Anyway, that's my video. Hope you guys like it. Take care. So, I want to see if this extension piece for the tripod is also for this. Because if so, then the light will move more than just up and down or left to right or whatever, you know. It will be a 360 motion. Okay, so this part does screw on. There. Oh, that's the holder. Yeah. I'll screw this on. Ooh, it's a little tough. The ring kind of feels cheap, plasticky. Oh, the wires are getting tangled, but I'll have to undo that in a second. So the extension piece that I thought was only for the tripod actually works for the light too. Screws on and everything. So now my light with the locking nut unlocked has full 360 access. So that's kind of cool. So yeah, another feature I guess. So pros and cons, right? The tripod itself. And this, pretty much every plastic piece kind of feels cheap, including the screw-on knobs. Um, the stands for your phones, they just don't fit my phone. I wish they were adjustable, but they're not. Um, the light itself does the job well, I think, for what I need it for. And I like how you can adjust it to a pretty good size. Um, other than that, not much. I, I'm happy I bought the thing, actually. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.